This is insane. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? Hey guys, uh, Jay and Mike coming to you with another abandoned video. And today we're in a location that we checked out twice before. This is a really amazing abandoned funeral home. We came here over the summer to scout it out. We took some photos. We returned a few months later and discovered someone was actually inside here and decided it wasn't the best time to come and film it. So we're back for a third time. And hopefully this time everything works out and we're able to share this pretty awesome place with you. So come along with us as we check it out. All right, guys, we're starting off here in the basement. I do have some information I will share with you throughout the video. Not a lot of it, but just some brief history on it. But this place is absolutely filled with everything left behind. All the owner's contents are here. So you've got one of these old porcelain Christmas trees. It's a nice seat there. But the basement itself is loaded. Got a downstairs bar that's still chock full of liquors. Really nice piano. And back here we got a storage room with some unique items. You can see in the distance there is a really old sleigh, like a Santa sleigh. And there's old furniture in here, chairs. A lot of this stuff is um, funeral home furniture. But the whole house contents are, are left behind. Look at these colored stools, they're pretty neat too. I didn't even see those. It is early in the morning, so it's still kind of dark out, so we don't have much natural daylight. So, I'm trying to do what we can with our flashlights without drawing any attention. Got some taxidermied animals here. family photos on the wall all kinds of stuff but by far the very best thing down here is the embalming room and believe it or not it's still here it still has the old equipment and I'm going to show you that now so We'll make our hurdle over this little junk room and then we'll check it out. Check this out. This is a vintage embalming room. This is exactly where they would have prepped the bodies for funerals. This is insane. Table's still here and it has the channel for draining the fluids. And even that more creepy is the tools are still here, the instruments. There's some type of stirrups or something. Mortician's powder, what to say, arterial chemical. But I mean, look at this. These instruments were used on bodies and they're just left here. And this is a uh, machine, I believe, that extracts the blood and I think possibly pumps in the embalming fluid. Yeah, the embalming fluid. If it's from all the hide or whatever it is, but look at that. It's kind of set up like a surgery surgical room with the blue tile. There's like a I didn't even see that case there. Walking through cobwebs. Pigment, suntan. Yeah, these are like skin tones for the bodies. I mean, this is something that you don't see nowadays. 
There's even an old stretcher right there. Looks old at least. I don't know the dates. If you guys know dates on these things, let me know as far as the materials or the equipment here. But it's just mind blowing that it's still left here. When we saw this the first time, my jaw dropped. I was like, holy crap. Could not believe it was still here. This is one heck of a find. And I'm very thankful we were able to get in here this third time because I was afraid. I was only going to have to make a video with the slideshow with the photos I've taken the first time. So our persistence paid off. So the rest of the house isn't going to be as interesting as this, but stick around though. There's a lot of personal contents left behind. And I, as again, I will be sharing whatever information I do now in the rest of the video. So stay tuned, more to come. So we got to make our way past this junk pile here filled with kids toys. <clears throat> we had to climb over this to make our way here. What is that? Chemicals? Old pair of stretchers. I mean, not stretchers. Um, what are those called? Crutch. Crutches. Crutches. Yeah. Look at that old like adding machine there or something. See it? The paper coming down the back. Down bottom there. Oh, you see that? Champion human tone. It's crazy. Okay, we're now upstairs and we're in what would be, I guess, like the main living room area. You can see, as I mentioned, everything's still here. It's a very weird feeling. Got multiple sets of steps. I'm guessing this would be one of the viewing rooms. And the child's toys will make sense once I explain that later on. It's a nice piece of furniture right there. What are these uh, adult diapers? So this looks like uh, an office type room or maybe like a little lounge. There's some more spirits there on the table. So that's where we just wore out there. And we have more rooms here. This is like the personal living space. And uh, it's pretty moldy in here. It should be wearing our respirators, but we're not spending much time here. But TV's here, books on the shelves, DVDs, the smallest of space heaters and people have actually been here since our first time because stuff has moved around that's cleaned out just bizarre it's like they just walked away. But that was full of glassware when we were here last time. All the clothing is still there. We're kind of on edge because we're afraid we're going to run into someone. Because like I mentioned our second time here, that was the case.
I think there's two or three stairwells. Yeah, someone's definitely been here. There's a, a tin box there. Very, very quiet in here. This is a little enclosed back porch. And this is what I saw last time it was really weird. There's a child's painting here in the corner. And it's like they just walked away from it yesterday. It's like creepy and sad at the same time. So we're gonna make our way upstairs now. This is the back stairwell, like a family entrance. and creepy up here. I don't want to shine too much light here, but oh, there's a cat up here. It's behind the bed. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, this is crazy. If you hear me breathing heavy, you know why. Oh, Jesus! So we got another small bedroom here. There's a lot of trunks and cases. Normally I look through those to see what's in them, but we just don't want to stay here longer than we have to. So this time I'll have to be left a mystery. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so last time we were here, Mike checked the attic. He said it's not really worth showing, it's just some junk. So we're gonna bypass that and keep moving. Gotta watch out for that damn cat. Oh, look at this. This is crazy how much stuff is here. This is definitely a child's or teenager's bedroom. Got some Star Wars stickers. The desk is here. I do like that Hess airplane. That's an uncommon one. Got a closet here with the giant street sign, no parking. I think that's a cedar closet. vibe in here. I don't know, it's hard to explain. So next up we have the bathroom. Very vintage looking. I'll spare you guys, I won't do the toilet check today. I 
Yeah, the shampoo's still there, razors, soap. It's just crazy. So here we have a, uh, it's like a toddler bedroom. all the stuff. Sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic. We're just trying to do this as discreetly as possible. I don't want to draw any attention or, you know, do anything to disturb anyone. So this one is for the most part stripped out. It's a really big, I don't know if this is like an armoire or a dresser, but you can see all the drawers are full of clothes. And there's the stairwell, which will be descending down momentarily. It's just, it's hard to describe seeing all this. Uh, some writing. I love Molly. Molly and Jenny. And look at that. It looks like they were, I don't know, maybe that's their height or something. It seems kind of low, but possibly. Go, go, Power Ranger. Stickers. Yeah, very kid oriented room. Another head spike. Someone's a uh, headlamp. Jesus. Sorry. So here's a stairwell with a chairlift on it. Got a stained glass window there. Very small. Uh, scared me the spring on the door. A little small bathroom here. Nothing special. Okay, let's make our way downstairs. Think it'll take you? Is there anything else we missed down here? Okay, yeah, this is the last room we didn't film. Look at all the stuff in here. This is definitely one of the viewing rooms. You see, they got the rows of chairs lined up. Typical funeral home lighting. wheelchair in the middle of the room. Just lots and lots of kids' toys. It's bizarre how much is left behind. And when we were here the first time over the summer, there's even more stuff. Probably about a quarter of the items have been cleared out, especially any valuables. So someone's been here. But very odd. It's like a little coffin there. Mike thinks it's for ashes. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here. This has been one heck of a location that we were able to share with you guys. We were worried for a time they weren't going to be able to return here, but thankfully, as I mentioned, our persistence paid off. Uh, I just want to say that, number one, the cat scared the crap out of me. I'm sure Mike, too. And um, 
my favorite part obviously is a basement and bombing room just to know that the equipment's still there and that that was used you know for what it's intended for and just laying around just kind of bizarre but also the amount of contents left behind very rare you see this much stuff left behind this is basically a whole family still here at least their possessions but mike if you want to tell me what you think if i can catch my breath yeah <laughs> um it's very uh my heart's still pounding thinking there's still someone in here um it's a very creepy creepy vibe in here um it's one of the worst places like I've, my heart's been beating the whole time pretty bad um yeah, kind of blurry there hang on um okay excellent find though i mean downstairs the the room downstairs with all the tools and you know the the bed and everything that's that's top on the list that was pretty neat see a gurney down there all the all the stuff all the all the liquids and everything the bombing stuff yeah it's basically like a time capsule everything's still here everything's still in its place for the most part definitely signs that people have been here since we were there are items that were removed and tossed around but for the most part it's still pretty much the same way we found it it's an incredible find and hopefully one that you guys enjoy so if you did enjoy this adventure give it a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe ring that notification bell that way you don't miss any future uploads and lastly i just want to say if you have any comments or questions leave them down below otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video you ready to go down Oh, I stepped in. Damn it.